two different great core exercises that are also going to involve the shoulders because they've got stabilized through this movement are going to be the TRX push pull and then the TRX pull press. I'm going to show you the TRX push pull first. Again, it involves the shoulders because they're going to help me to rotate when I come back. Most important thing I'm going to start off with is leaning. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it with a row, but then I've got to press out of the row to try to create the pull. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push, pull, right now pull, and then push away with my shoulders. And then slowly react back with my obliques, which is a great core movement. Pull, and then push through with the obliques, stabilizing on the way back. Okay, one more time, keep the hips up, pull, and then push through. Okay, so the TRX, push, pull, and again, lower back to that original point, nice and slow for stability, great for the core, and to make sure that you've got good rotational elements in your core. The second exercise that I really like, and this is one that I would throw into the program as much as you can, because it really works, your anti-rotators, is going to be the polyp press. What you're going to start with is you're going to start like being on a log. So your feet are going to be in line, straight in line. You don't want to be off to the side, otherwise you lose the ability to lean well. So we're going to go ahead and put the inside leg forward, the outside leg back, on that log. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to try to lean to the side. And as we lean to the side, again at this angle, what we're going to do is we're going to keep the weight or the TRX right in at our chest. And we're going to lean, lean, lean straight through the hip as much as we can. The more lean we create, the better it is for us. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the polyp press, which works the shoulders at the same time, because we're just going to extend out anti-rotators. And then you're back in. And it doesn't look like it's that tough, but when you get those arms out in the way, it really does a great job of working all across the core to the one side, and then we switch it around, we do that same activity to the other side. Remember, inside leg forward, outside leg back, then lean away and extend out. 